All right, what's going on guys? Gonna make a, another sweet, awesome tip. Okay, how can you create a website with, with $500 or less, okay? First of all, you have to become a host. You can do that through oneonone.com. Um, it's $9 a year for to get a domain name. Um, that's if you don't buy it from a private person. This is just you just going through the searches and you just get it for free. You just pay the hosting fee. Second thing, um, you use freelancer.com to make your website. Um, you can hire people from all over the world for a hundred, from two to two to five hundred bucks. They'll program the site for you and everything. Um, I would use, uh, I would first sketch out your website um, and get a design, like a homepage design. And um, since most people use cell phones, then PCs now, um, like if you go, if you look under Google Analytics, you'll see, uh, you know, 70% of your traffic is through mobile device. So what that means is make your website mobile responsive. So the first design that you make, I would make it responsive. So keep it simple and um, make your product or your service, like the homepage, have, have the buy button right there. Or at least show your your product off right there in the homepage because you only got like three seconds to capture somebody and try to sell. Them. So it's important that the flow of the site is important. Again, you only need under 500 bucks will get you an awesome website. First, you hire a designer on Freelancer to make you the um, the designs, um, the responsive designs, and then. Um, you could design a desktop version as well. And then, then after you get that, then you give it to your programmer, which can code it for probably three to five hundred bucks. Um, and you know, every website you're gonna want to have an order page, an about us page, um, a blog, so you can add information to your website. So you constantly add information because Google loves information and it also loves fresh code. So that's how it can tell if your website, that's why templates don't rank as high as custom built websites. Because a template is a copy of a copy of a copy, which is spam in Google's eyes. So if you're gonna, there's no, if you're gonna use a template, you have like Shopify is a template, but you can customize those things. And you can tweak them to make them SEO friendly. And you have to make sure that you do that. And Shopify is awesome, I highly recommend them, but you do have to customize them. Um, I go in depth more about uh, you know, customizing your site and how you should set it up in my classes and um, more in depth about your brand name because that's super important. Keep it two words or less. I go over some ideas on how to create one and you do want to protect yourself. You don't want to get, there's certain sites you can check so you can't get sued later once you build this huge company up. Somebody from California can sue you because they have the same name. There's, there's certain sites you can check to protect you so that doesn't happen. That's super important. Um, and I go over those in my classes. So, anyways, yeah, 500 bucks. Get your design done. Get your website going. Don't use GoDaddy for your website. It, it's super expensive. And I just, I don't ever use GoDaddy. So, uh, and that's how you can create a website under 500 bucks. That will work. And um, what else could I tell you? Uh, oh yeah, for, for when you're using freelancer though, when you're doing freelancers, do not release any money up front. There's plenty of people that will do the work without releasing the money up front. You can escrow the full amount, but don't release the money up front. Um, no matter what excuse they come up with, if they're like, oh, my grandma died and whatever, their mom's dying or whatever, that's all BS. Just once the product is done, release the, uh, half of what's ever escrowed, and then, and then have them send you the files and upload to your server or your, um, your domain name. Check all the pages, make sure they work, and then uh, then release the second payment. So that's how it should work, and that will that will work. You're not gonna get screwed over, and you just gotta stay strong and not give in to whatever BS they tell you. So, um, 
and uh, what else can I tell you about your, your website? Um, you definitely want to blog because you, you want to be able to add content to your, your blog every single day. And I go over how to figure out good topics, what to write about, um, how you should set your blog up, and uh, all that in my classes. I mean, that's called on-site SEO. And um, yes, you do want to do a little, you at least want to set your website up for late, like on-site SEO um, is good. And it's not like SEO doesn't work as quite as good as it used to, but you just got to do the basics and be honest and deliver awesome content. That's it. Um, just keep delivering awesome content. Same way with YouTube videos, deliver high quality content. Um, and what else? That's pretty much the basics. And if you guys have any questions, you can email us at support at or you can give us a call. We're still we're still working on the website, but I'm just delivering some awesome content out there to get us um, get us rolling a little bit. But hey, you can always shoot a comment or shoot us an email, and that's always open. And like I said, we're I'm, I can sell you the class right now. You just shoot me an email. I'll send you the, the classes. Um, right, now, they're going to be one ninety nine for the class, or you can you, we could do an early bird special at one forty nine. Just shoot me an email. I'll give you fifty bucks off. And um, yeah, you I guarantee. Even if you're an experienced webmaster, um, you're going to learn something. Definitely. There's so much that I've personally been through. Um, so many mistakes. Uh, <laughs> most of the mistakes came from the moving company. Um, be honest with you guys. And uh, we learned a lot about just DOT, government, taxes, IRS. Uh, one of my best friends, an IRS agent. So um, I'm gonna have to talk about that in another video. You know, if, if you ever meet an IRS agent, be his best friend. That's a great friend to have. You wanna have an awesome attorney friend, and you want to have an awesome accountant friend, which would be like an IRS guy. So, you guys have an awesome day. Um, hope you guys learned something. And yeah, shoot us an email if you have any questions, support at conceptcareer.com. So, that better help you guys out when you're making a website or if you already have a huge company going and you want to send updates to a programmer um, and you're trying to like make a, a database for your business. So before you, um, you know, you send the stuff to the programmer, you either have to create some wireframes, or, or if you want to send your website to a designer, you have to send them some wireframes to something what it should look like. So the best program to use for wireframes is Balsonic. So this is the program. This is the program, which is amazing. Um, you can do so much. So let's say uh, I'm gonna start a new project. Um, all right, I go like this, and then you can even do like, hey, let's say I got a mobile. I got a. I'm gonna just do a really quick. What got it? Browser. So let's say I want to do a browser design. You know, like a desktop version of a website. There you go. Desktop version, and then you can add like buttons. You can change the color of these buttons. You can change all the name of the buttons. Let's say you can have drop downs. So this way, your designer knows what the heck, um, like what you want. I mean, there's so much stuff. I mean, this is like the best program ever in the whole face of the planet when you do like designs. And look at you got little cell phone buttons. You probably could customize this stuff, huh? Double click it. Okay, maybe not but um, you can choose the type of keyboard I mean this is this is awesome so let's say you're doing like a mobile app right you can even do like a cell phone and you can zoom in at it and then you can you can make all the screens within the design I mean there is just a ton of stuff and this is how you do your and you can add little arrows with, uh, I use this a lot with notes. Um, uh, let me see here. Shit. 
All right, and you got here. So you can add a comment for your programmer. Yo, please design this, this way, whatever. So there you go, this is Balsamic. Definitely want to get it. It's the best program in the world for wireframes. So you do your wireframes, then you send it to your designer, get a real design, and then you send it to your coder. So um, that is the deal. Um, hands down, it's the best. I think you can get it for like 50 bucks. Go to balsamic.com. Um, I'm gonna make a tutorial video about Balsamic on another video, but but yeah, that's what you use before you set before um, you know you make your site or you talk to the designer. You design it in Balsamic wireframes, and then you send it off to your designer.